Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the BK Beauty Luxe Lipstick Set. It runs for $115. You see five different lip colors. And it basically, if you do the math, it's like around $23, $25-ish per lip color, which I feel like is fairly priced for more of a higher-end lip color or lipstick. This is supposed to be really nourishing, really creamy, long-lasting, super pigmented. And this is also vegan and cruelty-free, made in Canada. It has apricot oil infused in the formula and basically we're going to try it on all five lip colors we're just going to see how does it look on how does it feel on is this actually worth picking up what is the packaging like and i hope you guys enjoy everything i talk about in today's video will be listed down below in the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really does help out my channel and let's jump on in and try them on so starting off on our first lip shade this is called acceptance acceptance of yourself acceptance of others acceptance of the situation i feel like sometimes can take you a really long way and this is described on their website as a beige nude pink lip color. It is so, so pretty. Love the neutral undertone. I feel like it's a perfect everyday type of, of lip shade. I feel like it's going to look so flattering on. I'm really excited to apply on this lip color. And I feel like it's a perfect summer, springtime lip shade to be a little bold, but in the most pretty, subtle way. As for the consistency of these lipsticks, let me tell you, it is really pigmented, nourishing. It just glided on effortlessly, swatching the back of my hand. I love the natural finish that it has. I'm really excited to apply this on and just get a really good feel for the formula itself. But so far, it feels really nourishing by swatching the back of my hand. As for the packaging, the packaging feels really luxe. I love the color of it, love how modern it is and clean it is. Also, I'm really happy to announce that the top is magnetic, so we don't even have to worry about the top line all around in our purse or potentially losing it so I'm really happy that they included that as for the lipstick I feel like they gave us a generous amount I feel like this will last you a really long time love the fact that it's rose gold and it doesn't have a scent to it surprisingly I thought it was going to smell like apricot just because apricot oil is infused in the formula and it doesn't but nonetheless you guys know here my channel I'm fine without having any fragrance in my products so I'm going to go ahead and quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on acceptance hey guys so I just removed the lip combo that I had on. Let's jump on in and try on acceptance. I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips. And so far, as you can tell, it is definitely really pigmented. It's a really light, pretty pink shade. Acceptance is a pretty lip shade. I feel like it's a perfect everyday type of lip color. I feel like it has like a little pop of color, like a little pink undertone, but in the most natural way. It's not too bubbly and too bright, like bubble gum pink. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it's really, really pretty. It feels really nourishing on my lips. It doesn't feel heavy, but I definitely feel like I have something on. Applying on this lipstick, it was really easy to apply on. I didn't have any issues applying an even amount when I pressed my lips together the formula doesn't separate, which is perfect because that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't like lip colors when they tend to do that. But as for the consistency, I personally really like it. It feels really nice, really pigmented. It was really easy to apply on. I love the nourishing effect that it gives. So far, I don't pick up a scent. So let's move on to lip shade number two. The second lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on, this is called Inner Beauty Girl. And I love the name to this lip color. I feel like Inner Beauty... Inner beauty is everything, okay? More than exterior beauty because if you don't have inner beauty, ooh, that's gonna make it things really tough. <laughs> and this is described on their website as a neutral medium pink lip shade. And let me tell you, it's so, so pretty. I feel like it's a perfect everyday type of lip color. It has like a kind of like rosy undertone, I feel. And I feel like everyone should have this lip shade in their collection just because it's gonna look like your natural lip color, but better, perfect everyday type of lip shade. It's effortless, it makes getting ready so much easier. And I personally really love it. Again, it's really richly pigmented, easy to apply on. I got it on effortlessly swatching in the back of my hand and I'm really excited to apply it on and just see for myself if I end up really liking it. So let's go ahead and jump on it in. I'm just going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips. And again, you guys, it literally looks like my natural lip color. I feel like you probably won't see much on. Okay, I feel like you'll end up seeing a little, a little something. So it definitely looks like my natural lip color. But again, I feel like it's just going to give me a little pop of color. Inner Beauty. I personally like Inner Beauty. I feel like it's a beautiful everyday type of lip color. It gives me a little pop of color. It has like a rosy undertone. And I just feel like it looks like my natural lip color, but better. Like, how do you not like lip shades like that? I love that it does have a neutral undertone. I love the nourishing effect and feeling of this lipstick. I feel like you can definitely feel like you have something on, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel sticky. Keep in mind that you can definitely layer this on because these are really pigmented, or you can just lightly blot and apply on this lip color just to do 
blue the pigmentation so so far personally really like it so let's move on to lip shade number three this one is called self love described on their website as a pale pink lip shade and let me tell you it's definitely a bright pink to me <laughs> this is a lip shade that i typically don't gravitate towards i'm not huge fan of like bright pink lip colors, but I still feel like it's really, really pretty, especially if you're in the mood for a bold lip during the summer, springtime, or any time that you just want to like add a little pep to your step. I feel like this is perfect. I personally love the little lip shade. I feel like it's going to look really pretty on me, but I don't really feel like, to be honest, I'll end up wearing it again after this video. But overall, it's really pigmented. It doesn't have a scent to it so far. I don't pick up like any scent at all. So let's go ahead and jump on in and apply on this lip color. I'm going to start in the center of my lips. And again, you can see it is definitely really pigmented. Let me press my lips together. And it definitely it transfers over really nicely, especially if you want to do a little pigmentation. This would be perfect. You can just apply a light amount, press your lips together, use your finger to apply on the product evenly throughout your lips. And that is basically it. It still feels really nourishing so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish applying on this lip color. Self love. Not only do I love the name to this lip color, but I actually kind of like it on. I don't know how it's going to look on camera. Maybe I'll change my mind again once I see it on me. <laughs> But so far, I feel like it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be, but we will see. Maybe I wouldn't apply this on just alone. I'd probably layer on like a warmer tone lip liner and then the center of my lips apply on like more of a nude type of lip color and the center of my lips just to do the pigmentation. I'd probably layer this on to warm it up a little bit more and for it not to be as bright as maybe it's probably looking right now but I personally really like it and nonetheless it's still really pretty I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion it looks really flattering on really pigmented feels really nourishing it doesn't feel sticky it feels really comfortable on my lips and again it's really really pigmented you can definitely layer this on to get the most pigmentation out of it or you can just lightly apply it on just to get a light little a little something something on your lips so let's move on to lip shade number four the fourth lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on this is called kindness described on their website as a peachy nude lip color and I love the name to this lip shade you guys I love the name to all of the lip colors so far I feel like kindness we all have to remember to be kind to one another I know we all have our bad days but at the end of the day we just have to remind ourselves you know bring that positive energy you know we don't know what people are going through in life and just have to be kind not only to others but to ourselves as well so let me tell you i'm really happy that they added like a peachy nude lip color within this collection because so far they've all been kind of like pinky rosy kind of lip shades and so for this one i'm really excited to apply it on i'm not really sure how i'm gonna like it on me but personally I really like it i feel like it has a neutral undertone it's subtle gives you a little pop of color perfect summer springtime lip shade so i'm gonna go ahead and jump on in and apply on this lip color i'm gonna start in the center of my lips and so far i personally really love this shade i can already tell by applying it on i'm gonna end up really loving it just because it's subtle but it gives you a little that peachy undertone i feel like it's gonna look so so pretty on so i'm gonna go ahead and finish applying on this lip shade Kindness, you know, kindness is such a pretty lip shade. Comment down below so far on your thoughts on this lip color. Do you like it? Do you not like it? So far, I really like it. It's really pigmented, you guys. You can definitely do a little pigmentation. I don't think I would wear this lip shade by itself. I'd probably apply on like a taupey lip liner, apply this lightly on the center of my lips just to give a little pop of color in the most subtle way. And that would just basically be it. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty on. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. It's a perfect summer springtime type of lip shade it gives you a little pop of color in the most subtle way you have control of how pigmented you want it to be which is perfect it feels really nourishing again it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel sticky you definitely feel like you have something on but it feels like in a nourishing way so let's move on to lip shade number five the last and final lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on, this one is called Passion Passion, and this is described on their website as a deep pink lip color, and let me show you, it's really pretty. It's not as deep and like super pigmented that I thought it would be, considering what they described on the website, but it's still really pretty. I feel like this is a really pretty lip color that has a nice warmth undertone to it. I feel like this is the perfect fall winter lip shade but at the same time I feel like you can easily wear this day or night any time of the year any time of the day I feel like it's just not too bold but bold enough that it just gives you a little pop of color which I personally really like again super pigmented swatching back of my hand feels really nourishing glided on effortlessly so so far I really love that I'm gonna go in and apply on this lip color starting in the center of 
my lips and again it's super pigmented love the undertone to this lip color i can already tell i'm gonna end up really loving it i'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together and it transfers over really nicely passion and passion is a really pretty lip color again i feel like it has a really beautiful warm undertone a perfect fall winter lip shade again but you could still wear this day or night honestly i wouldn't wear this lip color alone i'd most likely pair it with a taupey or a brown type of lip liner just to give my lips a little bit more dimension and apply a light layer throughout my lips but it's still really pretty it feels really nourishing it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel heavy you definitely feel like you have something on i really like this collection you guys i think they did a really great job with the formula i feel like it's essentially last year really long time i love the packaging love the magnetic top it's really nice love that it has a nice weight to it it feels really luxe and 115 dollars i definitely feel like it's worth it it's fairly priced for you for the fact that you're receiving five different lip shades i'd really be interested to see if they come out with like more of a nude type of a lip color just because they all kind of have like a rosy pinky undertone other than which was it kindness that has like a peachy nude undertone to it i'd like to see more lip colors kind of like this one like your normal kind of caramel lip shades just because not everyone is looking for like a pink tone type of lip color shade so i think this collection is really specific but nonetheless they're all really pretty i feel like they'll all look really nice on on many different skin complexions and you definitely have control of how pigmented you really want this to be and i love the fact that it doesn't have any scent it is vegan and cruelty free which i personally really love and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have any questions comment down below ask away also comment down below let me know out of all five lip shades which one was your favorite and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always i will see you all in my next video i love you all so so much bye